Hello and welcome to another segment, another session of Seneca Chemica. And today we're gonna to look at the very simple single replacement reaction, also known as a displacement reaction, one of the key reactions in entry level general chemistry, something you might find in high school or something like that. And we're gonna look at the observations, go over the concepts and look at some advice also. The first reaction we're gonna do involves a copper solution. We're gonna start with copper nitrate. And here we have some copper nitrate, and it does have that characteristic blue color for a copper compound. So you can see here, here's some copper nitrate right here. Uh, it does have that characteristic blue color, and you're just gonna dissolve it into some water. I have some made already here, but you know, no harm in dissolving some more. Some, some right in there, woo! Okay, of course you're gonna mix it up to make an aqueous solution. As with many single replacement reactions, you have some solid metal, some elemental metal with some ionic compound in aqueous solution, AQ. That just means it's dissolved in water. So you'll take this copper nitrate solution and put it in test tube, you don't need too much, right there. And we have some metals here. First, we're gonna look at the reaction of lead in the copper nitrate solution. One thing I always like to do and recommend is take the metal that you have and file it down or scuff it up a little bit because you wanna get that oxidation off. You don't want any of that compound of oxide, in this case, lead, lead oxide, uh, you don't want that on top, you want the pure metal I mean, beneath, underneath. So I'm just gonna file it, scuff it up, you'll see it makes it a little bit shinier underneath. Place a piece of lead right in there. Let it slide in all the way to the bottom. And let's take a look and see what happens. Here you can see it's already starting to react. It's getting a little darker. And of course, what's happening is the copper in the solution is switching places with the lead. The lead is going into the solution, the copper is appearing as a pure metal. So on the lead, the lead's gonna get dark, it's gonna become a nice dark color as the copper forms on it. And if we give it some time, the color of the copper solution will slowly disappear. Uh, just a note for teachers, one thing interesting about this uh, equation or this reaction is the copper nitrate works a lot better. If you do copper sulfate, that is soluble and does make an aqueous solution, it'll look something just like this. But copper sulfate, if it switches with lead, you make lead sulfate, and lead sulfate is not that soluble. So the reaction doesn't go that well. Lead nitrate is much more soluble, so when it switches, it's more conducive uh, to having this reaction go ahead. So for doing the lead single replacement reaction with copper, use copper nitrate in solution. That's much better. Okay, so here we are with the lead in the copper nitrate, and you can see at the bottom, some of the color is starting to go away. So it started like this color. Here's the copper nitrate with nothing reacted in it. And if you take a look, if you take a look at the test tube towards the bottom, the color is starting to fade. And what is happening is the copper that's in solution is going into the lead and forming a solid copper. Meanwhile, the lead that is solid is going into the solution and not becoming solid lead anymore, but in the ionic form. And if there's no more copper in the solution, it will not be blue anymore. So some of the blue color is going away. See now that the color is very different. It's not that shiny anymore. Uh, you can also see some brown spots on the edges, especially on this side. You can see just touching it, got my finger all dirty. That is the copper solid forming on this piece of lead. Again, coming out of the solution, and becoming a solid. You can see it's a little bit brown on the edges. Definitely not the shiny piece of lead it was before.